Serena, please give me your handshake. <sighs> You've come again? There's no way I'll do it. Thank you so much. My name is Kay Maeda, a first year college student. It's been four years since I've been a devoted fan of Reyna, the super popular and rather aloof idol. But Reyna is... You haven't changed since high school, have you? Aren't you tired of this yet? Of course not. I'm devoted to the idol Reyna and only her. In reality, Reyna and I went to the same high school and we were in the same class for three years. Of course, a nerd, I, maintained the appropriate distance and only spoke to her when necessary. Currently, she's at the height of her popularity, but she used to be unnoticed and struggling. Back then, she was a member of the group called Koiwa Girls, along with the cheerful and energetic Ron Tenshin, the teenage delusionary prone Riri Demon, and the confident and competitive Uzami Uraari. But... I'm planning to open a takoyaki stand in the future, so all of you better come! I shall return to the demon realm. I'm heading to university, and maybe I'll win a beauty pageant and become a model or actress. <laughs> so we're all quitting, but we'll still support you, Reyna. Huh. You can come to one sock movement live shows once in a while. Thank you, everyone. Due to differences in entrance exams, future dreams, and paths, the group disbanded during our third year of high school. Since then, Reyna has continued to put in effort and has reached the point of holding dome concerts. Her dedication is truly something. That's why I want to support her with everything I have. Her aloofness is also amazing. Oh, if it isn't Kay, you're here again today. Hey, Otaku. As usual, couldn't get a handshake. My name is not Otaku, it's Otaku Da, but I've been in the same boat. He's my nerdy friend, Tamotsu Otakuda. I don't know his actual age, but he seems older. Since we're close friends, I've told him about Reyna and me. But that aloofness, it's something else, isn't it? Absolutely. Seriously, it's like she's taken it up a notch lately. Whoa! <laughs> uh. Are you okay? Um, you dropped your phone. She walked away before I could say it. Can't be helped. Let's give it to the staff. Yeah. After that, I continued to attend Reyna's handshake events. Can I have a handshake, please? Declined. Even though I can never get a handshake, I actually like it that way. Don't you want to have a girlfriend instead of just focusing on idols? It's just a coincidence that my favorite is a classmate. But could she find it creepy? All right, to reassure Reyna, I should. Actually, I got a girlfriend the other day. She's from a different university. Look, I even have a photo. Huh? Really? Well, it's just an AI-generated image that Otakuda and I made for fun. But with this fictional setup, there's no way she'll figure it out. Hmm. Is that so? I'm happy for you. I knew she'd react like this, but it still makes me quietly sad that she doesn't seem to think anything about me. A few days later. Phew. Finally done with classes. Now off to the idol shop, or... Hmm. That figure from behind and the sloppy disguise. Reyna? What are you up to? Uh, I'm not doing anything suspicious. Yeah, you're Reyna, right? You figured it out? Uh, well, truth is, I was looking for you. For me? Can you go on a date with me? Like, right now? Huh? I can't explain why, but please... Maybe it's for method acting for an unreleased drama or something? All right, I understand. And so I ended up going on a date with Reyna. However, during the journey to our destination... Isn't that girl so cute? I know. Wait, isn't she Reyna from the idol group? Oh no, this is bad. Reyna really stands out, doesn't she? In that case... My girlfriend is seriously adorable! She even gets told she looks like the idol Reyna, and as her boyfriend, I'm really proud! Is this going overboard? Well, I guess the real deal wouldn't be here, huh? I'm envious of the Reyna look-alike girlfriend. Phew, that worked out. Hey, um... Mm hmm? Y you said girlfriend. Were you talking about me? I- I'm sorry, that was just to throw them off. I mean, you wouldn't want to be my girlfriend, right? It's 
not like I'd hate it or anything. Anyway, let's just go on the date. Later, we arrived at the zoo. It's been a while since I've been to a zoo. It's close by, but I don't come often at this age. Besides, everyone's focused on the animals, so no one's paying attention to us, right? True. We went through the entrance and began exploring the animals. However... Ah! Huh? Sorry, I got startled. It's a bit scary. So, is it okay if we stay like this? S sure w What's going on? Somehow, today, we're really close. Her usual aloofness is great, but this too... Hey, want to go over there? The rabbit feeding experience sounds interesting. We fed the rabbits together, but... <laughs> it tickles so much! Rabbits are not coming anywhere near me. Reyna playing with the rabbits is nice, though. Oh, wait! What? There's a rabbit inside Reyna's clothes! Okay, <laughs> help me! Get, get the rabbit out of my clothes! That's seriously impossible, right? Despite such a mishap, we enjoyed the zoo and ended the day. <laughs> Lastly, we decided to take a ride on the Ferris wheel nearby to get a view of the whole park. Hey, do you remember? Even back in high school, we came to the zoo for a school event, right? It feels nostalgic. I think back then... I got separated from everyone. At that time, I was often absent from school due to work and lessons, and I didn't have any friends. I didn't even know anyone's contact information. At that moment... I... I don't know anyone's contacts. What should I do? Someone... Help me! Reyna! <gasps> I'm glad you're safe. Why are you here? Everyone was looking for you, Reyna. I had a feeling you might be here, and it turned out to be true. It's like the nerd intuition, I guess. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Thank you. Up until then, there had been a distance between Reyna and the others. But because of this incident, she became more approachable and popular at school. When I was feeling really anxious, you rushed over to help me, Kay. And you took the initiative to approach everyone to exchange contact information. So they could stay in touch easily, right? I feel like it was mostly my nerd friends that I approached. I... I've been feeling this way about you, Kay. Huh? Uh, watch out! Huh? <laughs> Ouch. Reyna, are you okay? Uh, thank you. It's dangerous to stand up suddenly. Just sit back down for now. Uh... Reyna? I can't take it anymore! The truth is... I really like you! Even if I'm your second choice, make me your girlfriend! Huh? Reyna has feelings for me, and she said second choice! You have a girlfriend, right? I thought today would be our last memory together, but... I just can't give up after all! I didn't notice at all. I thought I really was just seen as a regular fan. I couldn't treat you as a special fan, so I kept my distance just like with everyone else. But I thought today's date with you would be our last, so I wanted to lean on you a lot. So that's why she was so forward. I'm sorry, Reyna. I really care about you, but you're an idol, so I can't say reckless things. And about having a girlfriend, that was a lie. And that image was just an AI creation. I see. You're kind, Kay, for lying to me. Uh-huh. No, there really isn't anyone. Really? Really, really! Well then, I'll keep approaching you from now on! Uh. Even if you have a girlfriend, my feelings won't change! She definitely doesn't believe this. From the next day on, Reyna started appearing in front of me. Now, before my next class, I'll grab some lunch. Kay! R reyna why are you here? You can enter the university even if you're not a student here. Since it's lunchtime, I brought you a lunchbox, Kay. You mentioned having a girlfriend from another university, so I thought this might be my chance to approach you. I told you about having a girlfriend. It's a lie. If it's a lie, you can still eat lunch with me, right? Let's go to the cafeteria. And so, we changed locations. Here comes the airplane! Uh, uh... 
The stares from people around us are so uncomfortable. It seems like they haven't caught on that she's Reyna, but all the guy's gazes are piercing through me. On a day that was like this for a few days. I'm back. Reyna didn't come today, which is unusual. Well, she's probably busy, and there must be days like that. I wonder if I got any messages or something. Huh? Reyna's on hiatus? I need to contact her. Hello? Reyna, you're on hiatus. Are you okay? Okay. Help me. Uh, it seems that bad rumors have been circulating on Talkator, and she's not in a state to continue her activities properly. It's said that there were reports of bad performances, and photos with staff members have been leaked, leading to suspicions about her having a boyfriend. I'm usually aloof, so I can't blame people for disliking me. That's not true! The people spreading rumors are just aunties! Even Reyna's aloofness is something fans love about her! Okay... Everyone has their preferences, but spreading false rumors is the real mistake on their part! Reyna is absolutely not at fault! Because of your usual distant demeanor, the smiles you occasionally show and your dedication shine even more. Seeing you not giving up despite not gaining popularity gave me strength. There are people here who love you, so don't think that her aloofness is wrong! For myself, for you, and for all the fans, I want to keep being an idol! I'll do whatever I can to support you. If you ever encounter difficulties, don't hesitate to rely on me. Thank you. Well, I did say I'll support her, but what can I actually do? Even if I deny it verbally, people won't believe me. Hmm? This photo. A few days later. Ugh! Finished with classes today and now I have work. So tiring. Um, excuse me. What's with the sudden interruption? I'm busy here. Oh wait, Reyna? It's been a while. I have something important to discuss today. What was the suddenness? And who are these people with you? A former Koiwa Girls member, Uzami. You're the one who spread those false rumors about Reyna, aren't you? What, what on earth are you talking about? There's no point in playing innocent. We have evidence that you're the one who took those photos. What? It turns out the photo was taken through glass, so the face was blurry, but her distinctive phone case was clearly visible. We've confirmed from Talkator posts by Koiwa Girls that you're using that phone case. Plus, when you bumped into me at the live venue, you dropped your phone, right? I handed it over to the staff, and you received it. As a former member, the staff also remembered you. Ugh! Oh, what an incredible story! You should become a novelist, don't you think? But it's also possible that we just happen to use the same phone case, right? Shall we verify, then? What are you talking about? Actually, I have this ability to identify the culprits behind online posts. It's possible to request disclosure. What? Like a lawyer? While we normally avoided discussing personal details like age and profession among friends, this time, considering Reina's predicament, we asked Otakuda for help, and he gladly agreed to cooperate. There's no escaping it now, huh? Uh, yes, it was me. Why did you do something like this? I was jealous of you! I know that your success is the result of your hard work, but if I had continued like that, I felt like I would have reached the same place I wanted to be. I thought it was unfair that it was just you. I wanted to work hard with everyone even more, but everyone had their own circumstances, so I couldn't stop you. Even though something like that happened to me, I couldn't continue being an idol anymore. Huh? Is it because of an injury? <sighs> Each member had their unique traits, but among them, Uzami stood out for her exceptional dancing skills. However, even before her retirement announcement, her performances had gradually been declining. Is your reason for quitting really just an injury? I don't have any evidence, and it's just speculation, but... You really should become a novelist. But yes, you're right. I decided to quit because of an injury. I can manage daily life, but I can't engage in intense physical activity anymore. As Reina gained popularity, I started to resent you more and more. But I'm sorry. Regardless of circumstances, what I did was unforgivable. I forgive you. Are you sure? 
I tried to tarnish your reputation. I'll forgive you, if you genuinely support me from now on. While I can't fully understand your feelings, I can imagine how frustrating it must have been if I were in the opposite position. Reyna. Thank you. I'm truly sorry. Uzami vowed never to do something like this again. Since Reyna was satisfied with this resolution, I didn't say anything further. And then, hey, Reyna, I really don't have a girlfriend. Isn't that just a kind like, hey? Well, well, take a look at this. Otakuda showed Reyna how he was creating the image to make it clear. The image also included a picture of the woman I had claimed to be my girlfriend. Thinking that words alone might not be convincing, I had asked for Otakuda's help. Huh? This looks so realistic. But it's really an AI? Technology has come a long way recently. Well, Kay is devoted to Reyna, so he wouldn't cheat. Well then, I shall take my leave now. Thank you so much for today. No problem at all. I'm doing this for my fave, Reyna. Huh? Uh, Reyna, no, Reyna Nakano. Y yes I support you, Reyna, but I also had romantic feelings for you. I lied about having a girlfriend to make sure you wouldn't find me creepy or weird for it, and to make sure you didn't read too much into it. I really like you, Reyna, but I know I can't date the idol Reyna who gives everyone dreams. I understand. Being an idol is about giving people dreams, but I also really like you, Kay. So when I become the ordinary Reyna Nakano again, I want to have the same kind of conversation we're having now, not as an idol and a fan, but as regular classmates. I got it. Until then, I'll keep supporting you, Reyna. After that, our relationship returned to what it used to be. And just like before, I continued going to live performances with Otakuda. But there was something that changed. Ah! There you are! Some K and Otakuda! Oh, you dare to leave me behind him like this? Have the courage to face the seal left hand! Daddy, are you sure it's not just a lack of exercise? <laughs> what? You... How dare you! Prepare to become a meal for my familiar! Uzami, just as promised, started supporting Reyna at her live performances. We reconnected with Ron and Riri, and we all began going to the live shows together. Days like those continued, and a few years passed. <sighs> Reyna is still so cute. Huh. Even though the real me is right here, you prefer the screen? Uh, no, that's not it. I found it while cleaning, and it just brought back memories. Make sure you clean properly. Yes. After Reyna's 22nd birthday, she retired as an idol and transitioned into being a celebrity. After that, we started dating and just recently, we got married. You prefer me when I was younger? It's not like that. You're amazing no matter when I look at you. The memories from back then are important to me too. Then, as your wife, please continue supporting both the younger and present me. Of course. I intend to keep loving my beloved favorite just as passionately from now on. I'm Sho Ito, a 22-year-old businessman. Hey, Sho! Came to hang. Well, this place is a mess. If you've got complaints, don't come over. And this flashy girl is my little sis, Meg, who drops by occasionally because her college is nearby. I can't believe you leave this place dirty. I'm busy with work, you know? That's why you never get a girlfriend. Duh! Ugh, right in the feels. But Meg's got a point. Ever since I started working, it's been all work and sleep on weekends. I don't want to grow old like this. Well, if you won't, I'll help out. Huh? What's that supposed to... Got a text from my boyfriend. Later! What was that about? It took me a few days to understand what Meg meant by those words. Coming! Uh, who is it? I'm Kana Fukuda from Koiwa Housekeeping Services. Nice to meet you. I didn't ask for any. Are you sure you got the right place? Huh? You're Mr. Sho Ito, right? Y yeah that's me. Come to think of it, Meg did mention something about helping me out. Hold on a sec! 
I ordered housekeeping for you. I'm the best sister in the world. So, it was Meg. It'd be rude to refuse now, and having a clean house would be nice. Sorry, please help me today. Sure, no problem. She's really beautiful, but a bit unfriendly. While I was anxious about the first housekeeping service, she, Kanna, did her job really efficiently. Two hours later... Whoa! The room's sparkling clean! Only had two hours, so this was all I could do. No, it's more than enough. It feels like I just only read a single manga panel. I see. I made dinner. Please enjoy. Well then. Okay, thank you so much! And then Kanna left. I was starving, so I dug into the meal. So good! When was the last time someone cooked for me? This taste feels so nostalgic. A comfy room, tasty food, but this is irresistible! I decided to book Kanna's housekeeping service twice a week from then on. Even if she's distant, I hoped we'd eventually get along, but... Thanks, Kanna, as always. Oh, no. It's just part of the job. R right Even after a month, her salty attitude remained unchanged. Need a topic to talk to Kanna. Got it! Uh, um, Kanna, how did you become so good at housekeeping? My parents both worked, so I was alone at home most of the time. Being an only child, I ended up doing the chores instead of my parents. We must have been tough. I've always relied on my parents, never did chores. It's really impressive. <sighs> <laughs> I'm really, like, a total mess, huh? But that's why we got work. No words for cheering me up? Does she actually hate me? M maybe I'll try to step up my housework game. Please don't, or I'll lose my job. If I can't do housework, Kanda will hate me. But if I can, I won't get to see her. What do I do? Days passed without getting close to Kanna at all. Then one day... Hmm? Kanna seems a bit down today. Kanna, are you feeling tired or something? No, not at all. Uh, Kanna, can I have some coffee, please? Sure. And would you like some too, Kanna? But... I'm working. I just want you to chat with me. Is that okay? All right. If that's what you want. Uh... Uh, man, this awkward silence. I felt something different from her usual vibe. But what should I start talking about? How did you notice? Huh? That I was acting differently. People say they can't tell what I'm thinking because of my poker face. I can kind of sense you're not feeling as chipper. We've spent time together, even though you were working, right? Mmm. Something happened. It's embarrassing, but... I got a complaint from a client. They wanted me to be friendlier. She's polite at work, but yeah, kind of distant. So that's why she was feeling down. I like doing housework, but I'm not good at dealing with people. My personality isn't all sunshine, and I thought that was no good. I totally get that. Huh? Even you, show? I've got a sister who's super outgoing, and I felt down thinking my gloomy self is no good. But when I'm around you, who's always composed, I feel better. Your housekeeping skills are amazing, so have more confidence. Huh? Huh? She suddenly went silent. Is she mad? Um... Y uh, yeah Thank you. Uh, oh, n no She smiled for the first time. It might have been just my imagination, but since then, Kanna seemed a bit softer in her attitude. I wanted to get even closer to Kanna. But then, one thing happened. I kind of feel bad. Could it be a cold? Thank God today was a day off. Oh, wait, today's the day Kanna's coming. I can't cancel, and she's probably here already.
I gotta get that. Y yeah. Hi. How's it? Are you okay? What happened? Just caught a cold. I'm sorry today. Uh-oh. I feel dizzy. Show? Mmm. Show, you awake? Huh? Kanna? Did you carry me to bed? I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, uh, no. Then it's past the usual time. I'm sorry, I'll pay extra. No need. Huh? But... When you're not feeling well, don't worry about that stuff. Just rest. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is Kanna mad? It's gonna be annoying for her to come to work and have a client faint. Can't sleep? Um... Okay. Uh, Kanna's holding my hand! Why? You seem to be struggling, so... I thought this might help you relax. Thanks. Man, she's so nice. A few hours later. Dozed off. What time is it? Kanna must have left by now. You awake? Uh, Kanna, why? I was worried. Anyway, looks like you still have a fever. Uh, she, she's so close. Made some porridge. Can you eat it? Sorry for the hassle. When you're feeling unwell, just take it easy and lean on others. Here comes the plane. Uh, I mean, I got this. Just come on, here. Oh, um, uh... Tasty? Yeah. Kanna, she's amazing. Looks aloof, but super sweet. Wish I had a girl like her. Kanna, you usually give me the cold shoulder, but what's your real take on me? Um, Sho, your face is redder than before. You okay? Starting to feel feverish again. Getting kind of woozy. Work! That's it! Right, but I... like... Uh, uh, anyway, just have some rest. Yeah. <sighs> if you're gonna ask me out, do it when you're feeling better. Days later, Kanna's magic hands got me over my cold in no time. Gotta thank Kanna today. I had a wicked fever. Don't recall what I said. Hey, you listening? Gonna use the washer. Yeah, yeah. Got bigger fish to fry right now. Jeez. Worried because you said you caught a cold. Even today, I jetted here after crashing at my boyfriend's place. All right, I hear you. Oh, about time Kanna showed. All right, Meg, because the housekeeping service is dropping by. Huh? You telling me to leave? What's the problem for me to stay? Uh, well... Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Fine. I'm too nice for my own good. Uh, okay, got it. A few minutes later. Kanna, thanks for the other day. Cleared up my cold, like, a hundred percent. Hmm? Uh, uh, um... That's all? Got nothing else to say? Huh? Oh, maybe I should have paid for extra time. Ugh, forget about it. All right, then. What? What did she mean? Kanna seems pissed. What's up with her? Huh? Meg's phone. She forgot it, huh? So? Y yeah what happened? What the heck is this? Whoa! Why the tears? And what's that? My line! Thought laundry was done, but then this happened when I wanted to hang it out! Laundry? Could this be Meg's? Didn't know you had a girlfriend! And you letting her wear this? Misunderstanding? Gotta clear this up. Kanna, uh, calm down. This is, uh, my sister's. Sister? Yeah, so, uh... Hey, did you see my phone? <gasps> oh, your phone was right here. Uh, look, over there. Really? <sighs> You're a lifesaver. Thanks. Hey, what are you... Uh, got a jet after this. Looking all chummy like that. Is 
Isn't the sister thing a lie? What? Even after saying all that... Rude. No, really. Meg's my actual sister. Huh? What that? Uh, well, it's time. Thanks for today. W wait a sec. Wanted to clear up the misunderstanding about having a girlfriend. Oh, well. Next time, I guess. That's what I thought, but... Kanna, sorry about the other day, but... Nice to meet ya! I'm Ron, and I'm here for today! Cheers for having me! Y yeah nice to meet you Didn't expect someone else to show up. Did she avoid me? Nah, probably just coincidence. But even the next time, Kanna didn't show up. Kanna not showing. Guess we'll never meet again. <sighs> That's a big sigh. <laughs> Meg! How long have you been here? Was here all the time. Seriously, you didn't notice? Uh... Anything up with the housekeeping person? B well actually, as I was pondering, I told Meg about Kanna, and then... Sorry. Nah, not just your fault. But I did cause the misunderstanding. Should I make a call? Should I do it now? Don't have her number. Uh, plus, probably did something weird when I had the cold. But about that... Show? You might be in trouble. What? Mom said you get all needy when you catch a cold. You might have said something weird to that person. Oh, shoot. I probably said something totally nuts to Kanna. <sighs> Messed up. The next day. Alrighty then! See you next time! Ron! Wait a sec! What's up? How's Kanna? Is she okay? Kanna? Well, if I gotta say, not exactly in the best shape. Huh? What does that mean? Don't know the full deal, but seems like she's dealing with some illness. Oops! Can't be sharing stuff like that with customers. Forget I said anything! Kanna... sick? Is she alright? And the misunderstanding's not cleared up. Um, Ron! Huh? Yeah? I know it's a huge favor to ask, but could you give me Kanna's number? Can't do that. It's private info, you know? Yeah, I bet. Oh! Speaking of today... Gotta go to Koiwa Hospital for my... Ahem... <clears throat> back pain. Also... Seems like our... Staff... Goes there a lot. The staff on a day off might be there now. Uh, th thank you so much. <sighs> Kanna, sick enough to miss work, must be rough. She helped me when I was down with a cold. It's my turn to help her. Kanna! So? You sure it's cool walking around like this? Don't push yourself! Huh? Heard you're sick. Sick? I had the flu, but I'm all good now. Huh? But you were at the hospital, right? Visiting my mom who was hospitalized. She's getting discharged today, so I took the day off for the paperwork. So, you weren't seriously ill, right? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Oh, okay. Phew. Uh, about when I had the cold. Sorry, I don't even remember. Might have said rude stuff to you, huh? Don't remember? <sighs> oh, well then. Uh... So, uh, she's really my sister. Was just happy she found the phone and hugged me. <sighs> she doesn't believe me? Um, I mean... Kanna. So, even if you don't remember, you told me you liked me. Huh? I said that? Even then, you didn't bring it up next time we met. And then I found that thing from the laundry machine. Seems like you wanted to forget about us because you had a girlfriend. I'm sorry. I thought even you, Sho, liked outgoing girls. That really broke my heart. The person I like is you, Kanna! Ah! Uh, finally! 
Finally, you told me you liked me. <gasps> so, I like you too. Notice the change in me, even though I'm usually poker-faced. Never met anyone like that before. Kanda, you aren't always poker-faced. I mean, you cry a lot. C come on, stop it! But I fell for you because of that. So, I really like you. Uh, and that's how we got together. Afterward, it's a story I heard from Kanna, but later on, turns out what Ron said about Kanna being sick was to give me a push, knowing she liked me. The illness was just the disease of love. Also, introduce Kanna to Meg. We apologize for our misunderstandings, and despite being total opposites, they've become as close as siblings. A while later, I started living with Kanna. She taught me the ropes, and I've gotten better at chores I used to suck at. Kanna kept up with her housekeeping job and seems to be thriving even more. A few years later, she always does the cleaning, so maybe I should clean her room as well. Huh? What's this? Is Kanna wearing something flashy like this? Don't look! Is it sorry? I was planning to wear these tonight. <laughs> it's for the fun later, darling. My name is Takuya Okada. I'm a 24-year-old office worker. I've always had trouble expressing my feelings, so I've become accustomed to always wearing a smile to avoid disrupting the atmosphere. You look lovely today. I'd be even happier if you smiled more. Is that so? How can I help you with? She is as cool as ever today. Still as cold as ice. There's no company rule that says we must put on a sales smile inside the office. As expected, she's the complete opposite of me. Saya Yamada, the beautiful receptionist known for her cold attitude, is 23 years old. While she provides polite service to clients, she doesn't show even a hint of a smile to her colleagues. However, I admire her for not caring about things like the atmosphere at all. Hi, how's it going? Everything is fine. I guess I'll forever have unrequited feelings, unable to engage in conversations beyond work. Even if I were to confess, I doubt someone like me, who can't even say what they want to, wouldn't be taken seriously. Then, one day, my close friend Kota, who I share a room with, seemed to be planning a proposal for his girlfriend. I decided to help him come up with a strategy. A cute marriage certificate, a lovely ring, and a romantic restaurant. Hey, which one do you think is best? How can I make it a success? Marriage certificates have various cute designs online, it seems. You can even print them out as they are. Oh, great! Print out as many as you can! That's right. I should also print out the documents for the system change and give them to the reception. In the end, choosing the marriage certificate took us until late into the night. Oh no! I'm going to be late! Sorry, man. Thanks for helping me out with everything. No problem at all. I hope the proposal goes well. Oh, I had the documents printed too. Let me put these in an envelope. Despite the rush, I managed to make it to the office on time and headed to the reception just before the lunch break. She is alone. This might be a chance to talk. Excuse me, can I have a moment? This is a proposal document for a system change. Is it paperwork? Usually we handle this through digital files, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted you to take a look at it right away. I'll send you a revised version based on the feedback you provide. Fine, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I poured my feelings into the very last part. The last part? Shouldn't you start with a conclusion when preparing documents? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let me take a look at that page first. Huh? Why is it like... I thought this approach would leave a stronger impression than just doing it normally. Hmm, huh, her reaction. Maybe I should have followed her suggestion and done it the conventional way. You mentioned my feelings earlier. Are you serious about this? Huh? Y yes, of course I am. 
I want to change the current situation, even if just a little. What? Do you really think it'll work out that easily? That's impossible. Besides, it seems like you're only looking at the surface, doesn't it? That's not true. I believe I understand the beauty of what's inside the most. Otherwise, I wouldn't be saying something like this. Do, do you really mean that? Yes, I might not seem very dependable, but I think I'm good at providing support. Support? Is there even a slight, just a tiny bit of a chance? There isn't none. Well, more like there is. Then please, I beg you, can you think it over just once? <laughs> I'll work hard so you won't regret it. All right, let's consider it. Really? Thank you so much. Phew, my feelings got through to her. With this, we can streamline the reception and make her work a bit easier. To decide on the future plans, can we have a little time tonight? Is that okay? Huh? Is that fine? Absolutely! Thank you very much! After work. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. Don't worry about it. Let's go then. She told me to meet in front of the company, but are we going to have our meeting at a nearby cafe or something? And so, she led me to... Sashimi, salted squid, edamame beans, a tempura set, and what else do you like? Why are we at an izakaya bar? I thought we were here for a meeting? I'm good with what we have. You go to places like this too, huh? Yes, I like drinking. Some finger food is essential for drinking. Besides... The rice here is delicious. I wanted you to try it. Oh, thank you. Did she just smile? By the way, the fried chicken and their buttered fries are my recommendations. I'll have everything. I got carried away enjoying the food and drinks for hours. Oh no, she made time for this and I just had a great time. Our homes are in the same direction, it seems. Yes. This is my place, actually. <laughs> is that so? Is she not going home yet? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't considerate. It's late now, so I can walk you home. You'd come to my place? Yes, if you're okay with it. I don't mind. Our fruit preferences match, and I understand your feelings. Then, let's start with... Let's start with living together. Huh? I think it's a good proposal to get to know each other well. I've heard that taking marriage step by step reduces the chances of failure. We can handle the introductions to our parents after that. Marriage? Who and who? You and me, of course. How did it come to this? We never even talked about this. Congratulations. Huh? I heard about it. You have such a beautiful girlfriend. Could it be? You never mentioned ending our room share because I was saving up for my wedding ceremony. You're such a good guy. Kota? Who is this? I'm Takuya's best friend and we used to share a room. I'm moving into my fiance's place, so it's all good. Please make your home a love nest for you too. Wait, Kota? Thanks to you, it worked out. Thank you. It's not congratulations. Sorry for making you two wait so long. Don't worry about it. I was just proposed to today. He handed a marriage certificate and the documents to make it more memorable. And he confessed to me passionately. Wait, could it be that the one I printed accidentally got mixed in? Seriously? Um, well... Ugh, I lost. I never thought of something like that. Takuya, be happy. N no it's not like that. Unable to deny that I accidentally handed over the marriage certificate, the conversation continued to heat up. I look forward to living with you from today. Um, are you really going to live here? Yes, living together is a simulation of married life. Since it involves both our lives, it's a way to save every second and minute of our time. Is that so? She's taking this so seriously, it's making it even harder to bring up. Also, this is just my ideal, but... Ideally, I'd like us to become a married couple that feels like an extension of a romantic relationship. Uh -huh. 
let's check things little by little. What do you say? Does it make your heart race? It does, but... Oh, and please, just call me Saya. I'll do the same. How about Taku? Huh? Did she just call me Taku for real? And so our heart-pounding life began. Saya would make lunch and dinner for me every day. Saya, please let me help you. It's okay. I've heard that taking care of our health is a wife's duty. That's not true. Nowadays, it's said that supporting each other is important. You do have a point. Then, can you taste test for me? Here! Ah! Uh... Huh? I just need feedback on the taste. Please taste it and let me know. Do you think there's too much salt or should we adjust it according to your taste? Y yes it's delicious. Is that so? I'm glad. Next time, I'll cook for you. You can leave the taste testing to me. I don't have any dislikes, so feel free to ask any time. Is she asking for an airplane as well? In the end, we decided that I would handle cleaning and laundry, while Saya would take care of the cooking. I'll help. It's okay, I'm almost done. I want to learn how to fold like you. Your folding technique is so neat. Show me up close. Watch your step. Ah! Are you okay? Y yes I'm sorry. That was careless of me. Taku, you're surprisingly strong, aren't you? To think you'd catch me so easily. I'm still a guy, you know? That is right. Why isn't she letting go? She's actually getting closer. Shall we make sure our compatibility just a little? Uh -huh. The internet says you should keep things moderate before marriage. Don't worry, just a little, just a little bit. S Saya! I find myself completely captivated by this sweet side of Saya. However, during work, everything remained as usual. The meeting time has changed, so can we prepare by 3 p.m.? Certainly. Who would have thought there would come a day when I'd feel calm with her cool response? All right, thank you. Um, excuse me. Yes, is there something else? Well, good work today. I'm looking forward to tonight. Uh, good work to you too. W wait, that's not fair. And she's talking about dinner, right? As these days continued for about a month, and I got used to the overly sweet Saya, Oh, this one's cute, isn't it? About a year old? Yes, very adorable. Taku, do you like children? Yes, I often go to visit my cousin's baby. Is that so? When raising children, having a smiling face is very important. Taku, you seem like you'd make a wonderful dad. Really? You always try to smile, don't you? Your natural smile is lovely. Well, I'm just trying not to disturb the atmosphere. It's not like I'm good. Taku, do you not believe my words? Uh-huh. I think there are many people who are saved by your smile and kindness during work. At least, I am. I secretly admired you. I wanted to date someone different from me, someone like you. So, will you believe me? I didn't know she thought of me that way. I've believed in you for a long time. I'm glad. I'll work hard in my studies to become a good mom. Perhaps starting with prenatal education. W wait isn't that rushing things a bit? But she mentioned smiling, and in private, Saya smiles normally, right? Why is she so reserved at work, though? I ended up hearing the answer to that question directly from Saya after she made a mistake at work. Saya, maybe you shouldn't drink anymore. I'm so useless, making a mistake like that. But everyone told you not to worry about it, right? Yes, but I have to be perfect at my job. It seemed that Saya started feeling this way due to something that happened during her student days. Saya had no interest in fashion until a friend helped style her. Since then, it seemed like her treatment by others changed, and she started feeling a sense of distrust towards them. It felt like I wasn't being seen for who I am and left me feeling empty. But because it's work, I decided to put on a smile for my tasks. 
I didn't want to be evaluated based on appearances within the company, so I tried to excel at my job, but I am... Saya's excellent work is the result of her effort. It's different from me, who just admires her without doing anything. Saya, you're amazing. Huh? Not everyone can be as strict with themselves as you are. You take responsibility for your work, and that's impressive. I respect you. Really? Yes. I wish I could be like you. <laughs> Saya. Saya ended up crying and falling asleep. I'm sorry, I'll leave the room. Saya said that, but I'm too much of a coward to even clear up the misunderstanding about the marriage registration. Hmm? Taku? Oh, did I wake you up? I'll leave right away. Wait, don't go, please. Hey, how many children do you want? If it's with you, I... <gasps> In this half-hearted state, no, I can't. Oh, it's getting late. Let's go to sleep. Good night. Uh, good night. The next morning. Saya, I'm sorry about yesterday. I... It's okay. I'll come to pick up my things later. Let's end this living together thing. Huh? Why? I thought I had been proposed to all along. If I think about it carefully, there's no way such a thing could have happened, right? There wasn't even a name written on the document, and there were too many inconsistencies. So, that's what it was, right? Well, Saya, but I... Just leave it! Saya, let me explain. Just leave it, I said! Uh, <gasps> I'm sorry, I didn't intend to tear it up! This is the result, isn't it? Thank you for everything up until now. Goodbye. Uh, I didn't say anything. Saya has been expressing her feelings all along. I won't run away anymore. I'll change. After finishing work for the day, I headed to the reception desk to meet Saya. Saya, could you take a look at this? It's already after working hours. I'm sorry. Please, just this once. I couldn't give it to you properly before. I really want to give it to you this time. Just for today. This is the last time, okay? Uh, thank you so much! What is this? I mean it this time. I even wrote my name on it. Please marry me. It's too late now. Don't joke around like this. I'm serious. I want to be the one who's there to comfort you when you're crying alone. I couldn't say it for so long. I'm really sincere about wanting to support you more than anyone else. I can live on my own. I don't want to hope and get hurt again. If you can't believe me, you can reject me as many times as you want. But I'll keep writing until you say yes! That's unfair, saying it like that. Where did you learn to be so smooth? There's no choice but to sign my name, right? Then... Yes, I gladly accept. So, you can't run away from me anymore, okay? Be prepared, alright? <laughs> and six months later, we... Congratulations, Taku! Thank you, Kota! Thank you so much! We officially registered our marriage and celebrated our wedding today. Thank you for marrying me. That's my line. Will you stay with me? In sickness and in health? Forever? Yes, I'll always be by your side. And decades pass by. Hey, why is this all crumpled up? What's this paper? This is, you see, a memento of me and your grandpa. That's right. It's something precious to us. It's weird. It's all torn. Don't you have something prettier? Yes, we do, but... It taught us something much more important than its appearance. Someday... You'll understand. Huh? A single piece of paper had connected our destinies. This unsurpassable happiness will surely continue from now on forever. My name is Kenji Tanaka. I go to a university far from my hometown. My parents are famous teachers in my hometown. 
They are loved and trusted by their students and regarded as great people by those around them. Having parents like that, everyone only saw me as the son of the Tanaka family. I didn't like it, so I moved away from my hometown when I entered university. I wanted to show that I didn't depend on my parents, so I went to university on a scholarship and did not take any money from my parents. When I was not at university, I worked part-time. But to be honest, I was struggling to make ends meet. I'm starving. It's before payday. I only have 200 yen in my wallet. I gotta go straight home and boil some bean sprouts and eat. Uh -huh. What's this nice smell? The smell comes from this way. A takoyaki shop? Please give it a try. Only 300 yen for six pieces. Uh, 300 yen. I only have 200 yen. Okay, I'll give you a discount of 100 yen off. No, I couldn't let you do that. Don't worry about it. Th thank you. Don't mention it. Just spread the word about Ron's takoyaki. Of course. I haven't eaten takoyaki in a long time. This will be my dinner tonight. <laughs> what? Oh, I thought I heard something. Was it over there? <laughs> what? A girl in a back alley like this? And her clothes are worn out. What happened to her? I excuse me. What are you doing here? Huh? This sound is... Oh, so sorry. That was... Um... I got it. She is also hungry like me. Would you like to try this? Oh, is it for me? I bought it because of this good smell, but I'm not hungry now. Uh, don't be shy. Try it. Thank you very much. Thank you for the wonderful takoyaki. It was really good. Good. This takoyaki was served in a shop of a great chef, Ronsan. Oh. What? That sound is... <laughs> sorry, this is not cool. Oh, I'm sorry. I ate it all. Okay, okay, don't worry. I gave it to you because I wanted you to have it. By the way, are you okay? You're dressed in tattered clothes, and I think it is dangerous to be alone at this time. Anyway, I'll take you to the police. My lady, where are you? What? Oh, you guys, she is over here. My lady, where have you been? We've been looking for you. Let's go home right now. You should talk to boss. What? What are they saying? They are... Okay, I'll go home now. So don't cry, guys. <laughs> we found her. Thank God. Uh... So, so, I'm sorry for disturbing you. If you are okay, can you tell me your name? Oh, sure. I'm Tanaka. My name is Kenji Tanaka. Okay. I promise to give you a return favor for this takoyaki you've treated. Come on, my lady. Let's go. What was that? One day, a while after when we met curiously like that, I'm hungry, but I'm sick of eating bean sprouts now. I want to eat something except bean sprouts. If possible, rice is better. Maybe it was too hard for me to survive without my parents' help. What? Someone's here. Hi, who is it? I wanted to meet you. Thank you so much for that day. What? My situation settled down. So, I came to return the favor. What? Who is she? I don't have a beautiful friend like her. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have greeted you earlier. My name is Kana Hasegawa. You treated me takoyaki before. Oh, you're that girl? I was so surprised because she is totally different. But I just wanted to do so back then, so it isn't a problem at all. But it is to me. We hold duty and empathy as the ideal in our group. Your group? I am the only daughter of the boss of Hasegawa Gumi. Uh, Hasegawa Gumi is a famous Yakuza group around here. I apologize for not telling you, but we checked up on you. You seem to be living in poverty. 
Well, so, I mean, yeah. If it's okay with you, why don't you live at my house to work? What do you mean? I'd like you to be a caretaker of my house. How about it? As a tutor, too, as you seem to have academic skills. Of course, I will give you a salary, and all members of our group have a good personality. You don't have to dread them. Uh, my present part-time job is barely enough for monthly rent, tuition, and textbooks, and I feel I've reached my limit in many ways. Should I take her kind offer straightly? Are you sure you're okay if I become your tutor? I want you! Okay, I'll take you up on that. Hope to keep in touch with you, Kanna-san. Yes! So I came to work at Kanna's house and live with her. At first, I was confused about living with Yakuza members who looked rugged, but they were all kind-hearted people, just like she said. Kanna was considerate of me and made the environment easy to live in. One day, I was teaching her how to study. You are a really good teacher. I could understand smoothly even any difficult problem. <laughs> That's nice of you to say. To tell the truth, my parents are a little bit famous teachers in my hometown. I guess I acquired the skill for teaching naturally from my parents as I was taught by them. I see that. But I have complicated feelings a little bit. Complicated feelings? I want to be a teacher like my parents, but since they are great parents like that, people around me only regarded me as the second generation. No matter how hard I try, people think it's an ordinary thing because I am the son of them. It's a little frustrating for me. I think you are you. It doesn't matter what your parents are like. No matter how your parents are famous, what you acquire through hard work is yours and shows your real ability. I am sure people around you will understand one day. Kanna-san, thank you. After this day, we began to study and review together. As we spent time together, I was charmed by her. Then one day... Oh, it's heavy. I gotta carry this to the warehouse for now. No, no! Whoa! Ouch! <sighs> oh, sorry, Kanna-san. I couldn't see you because of this box. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not hurt. Don't worry about it. But... But? This position is a little embarrassing for me. Oh, wow. Uh, sorry. No. I won't forgive you. Wha what should I do then? Next holiday, will you go out with me? Go out together? Yes. We live in a house, but we have not gone anywhere together yet. So I've always wanted to hang out with you. No? Yes, why not? I'll be happy to. Thus, Kanna and I decided to go out together. On that day, we enjoyed it to the fullest. Bowling, karaoke, and arcade games. I had a great time. I got excited so much in a long time. I'm glad you had a good time, Kanna-san. So, aren't you a little hungry? There's a nice cafe over there. Oops! Oh! Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm sorry. Are you hurt? No, it's my fault. I wasn't looking ahead. Oh, are you Kanna-san? <laughs> you are! I'm so sorry! W wait Kanna-san! What's wrong? You ran away so suddenly. Who was that guy just now? He is a candidate to marry me. Marry? To tell the truth, when you met me, I was running away from the meeting for an arranged marriage. What? Really? Yes, but it doesn't mean I was unsatisfied with him. I was afraid of happiness given by others. I didn't want my future to depend on others. So, I ran away. I... You know, Kanna-chan... Uh, <laughs> maybe we are hungry. Would you like to grab something before going back? <laughs> yes, that's good. What would you like? 
Oh, this smell is... I knew it! Ranchan's takoyaki! Oh, nice to see you again! Did you choose my takoyaki again? I can buy it at the proper price today. Thank you! Don't rush to eat or you'll burn your tongue. Thank you! Oh, so good! Here you are, Kenji-san. Well, thank you! Oh, nice! Is there something burning hot other than the takoyaki here? Hey! You are kidding me! What? We are not like that! <laughs> it's always nice to be young! After this day, I became more and more attracted to her. The more we spent time together, the more I wanted to know about her. Then one day, I was called by boss, Kanda's father. He begged me to persuade her that she would accept a meeting with the candidate man for an arranged marriage. I couldn't refuse the request because I found out he was doing it hoping for Kanda's happiness. I could not refuse, but she doesn't like the idea of the arranged marriage. But I also understand how her father feels. Uh, what should I do? Oh? You are? Oh, Ranchan! Boy, you seem to have a dilemma. What's wrong? Come on, tell me. Actually... I see. I've got one thing to tell you. What? What is it? What you think makes her happy may not be what really does make her happy. <gasps> her true happiness may be different from what you and her father think it is. Anyway, eat this and think it over. Thank you, Ranchan. The next day. You have something to say to me? What is it all of a sudden? Can I tell you something, Kanda-san? Something? What is it? I want you to accept the arranged marriage. What? What did you just say? I want you to go to the meeting. <gasps> this meeting was arranged by your father, boss. He wishes you happiness. The man that boss wants you to marry is the son of a good company CEO and is a nice guy. I think he will take good care of you. If you want to be happy, I suggest you go to this meeting. I understand that. And what my father wants for me too. But still, I don't want to go. I thought you would understand me. Kanna-san, please hear me out. This is only words. Only words? What do you mean? Maybe I am not honest with your father, but I have got something to tell you. I, Kenji Tanaka, have fallen in love with you, Kanna Hasegawa. What? I am not a successor of a big company or a mature person. So I am not sure to make you happy always. But I am confident that we can get through together whatever happens. I love you, Kanna-san. Kenji-san, I love you, too. <sighs> On that night, everyone turned a blind eye to me worn out. But only you saved me. Since that night, my heart is yours. That's why I invited you here to thank you. I knew it wasn't fair, but I couldn't stop myself. No, I appreciate you. Thanks to you, I could find you attractive. I love you, Kenji. I love you more than anything in the world, Kanna. We expressed true feelings for each other and became a couple. The next day, Kanna and I visited her father. I'm sorry, boss. I fell in love with Kanna-san. So would you please call off the meeting for the arranged marriage? I swear to always stay by Kanna-san's side, no matter what happens. Dad, I also want to marry him. So please. I understand. So I'll decline the arrangement then. Really? Are you sure? I only want you to be happy. That's why I suggested this arrangement. But maybe I pushed my idea on you. I'm sorry, Kanna. Dad! I... I was very happy with your feelings. Thank you so much. I see. I'm glad to hear that. Kenji-kun, you don't have to take over our family business. If you have any dream, not as a Yakuza member, but do your best to live in the way you two will be happy. Oh, thank you very much! Thus, everyone peacefully accepted our relationship. 
and he, the candidate for marriage, sent us a message wishing for our happiness. I decided to stop being stubborn and face my parents as well. I knew that if I wanted to have a happy future with her, I had to change this situation. I was embarrassed to express my feelings honestly to my parents, but they both promised to support my dream. Wow! I'm glad you two are happy. It's thanks to you, Ronchan. Thanks a lot. I did nothing. It's because you two tried hard. But I'm sure this takoyaki was a bluebird for two of us. This is a takoyaki of happiness. Oh, Kenji-kun? What? There's some takoyaki sauce on your face. kanna san <laughs> Oh, the two lovebirds. We will continue to support each other and follow the path toward happiness. My name's Takdo Sasaki, and today is the long-awaited entrance ceremony of Koiwa High School. I used to be a total introverted nerd in junior high, but in high school, I'm gonna definitely make friends, find a girlfriend, living the dreamy and thrilling youth I've always longed for. But honestly, I don't have the guts to approach anyone myself. Hey, aren't you Takudo? Uh huh? You're from the same middle school, right? It's me, Uzami. You're the infamous Takudo, the school's top invisible guy, huh? Oh, didn't know that. Let's be friends in high school. Oh, and introduce me to your friend sometime, okay? Y yeah Yes! I made a girlfriend! This is off to a great start, isn't it? But now that I've entered high school, a part of me still wants guy friends. Yo, let's grab lunch together! You're Chato, right? We're in the same class, aren't we? Call me Chato. I've always felt like we'd get along, Takto. Let's be bros, man! Y yeah nice to meet you! With both a female and a male friend, I kicked off my high school life with an awesome start. But little did I know, my winning streak was far from over. Hey, Takudo, be my boyfriend. But shh, let's keep it a secret from everyone, okay? Oh, okay. Could it be I've already become the cool guy in high school? And so, after a month since starting school, I had it all. A best friend and a girlfriend. I had everything within my grasp. But, at that time, things started to take a strange turn. Uzami would boast about me all over the place, yet never mention my name once, despite the fact that I'd go out of my way to help her, like carrying her bags on the way home. And on top of that, Chato and I started drifting apart. All right, all right, I'll show you guys my boyfriend. Finally, the time has come. I'll make a cool entrance. Sup, I'm Uzami's boyfriend. What? Wait a minute, you two. I'm supposed to be her boyfriend. Huh? What are you talking about? What? After that, uh, the three of us found a new spot and decided to talk. I mean, like, why is this uncool loser misunderstanding things, you know? You're just a temporary fill-in until I find a real boyfriend, okay? <laughs> I only got close to you because I had my eyes on her. <laughs> what? what This is why nerds like you are a pain, man. Just face reality. <laughs> you were so easy to handle, so I'll give you credit for that. <laughs> is this for real? Oh, man, I can't believe in anything. And so... Having lost both my best friend and girlfriend at once, I was suddenly plunged into the depths of despair. The wounds of betrayal didn't heal at all, and for a while, I spent my days just sighing. It's my own fault for believing them so easily. Uh... I'll have that! Uh? Um, mm, 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 I can taste depression. What are you doing, and who are you? They say happiness runs away when you sigh, right? So I thought I'd take it. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Julia's talking to someone. Julia? Could it be uh, this person? I had heard rumors that there was a flashy hottie among the third-year students at our school, and the girl standing right in front of me was that girl, Julia Ogawa. 
but I had always heard that she kept to herself and never let anyone get close, so I thought she was a cool, lone wolf kind of person. Oh, I guess it's not cool to take without permission, huh? Huh? Wait a sec! I'll give it back now! <laughs> what? No, you don't have to return the sigh. Actually, don't put it back. Oh? You got some nice sense of humor, don't you? Th thanks. She's more kind of mysterious than I thought. All right. I like you. What's your name? Uh, uh, my, my name is Takuto Sasaki. All right, Takuto. Let's be friends. What? Next stop, Koiwa High School. Uh, is it, sorry, I've decided not to make friends anymore, so... Hey! What's going on? But I don't want to be betrayed anymore. And that's how I met Julia, the flashy student who's number one in school. At first, I thought it was some kind of joke and quickly left the place. But since then, she started chasing after me. But she's been doing this every day since then. But there must be something fishy. Alright, if I go to the rooftop, no one will be there. Uh, hey there! Uh -huh. That voice, could it be? Well, isn't it, Takido? Seems like you wanted to meet me after all, huh? W well it's not like that. Ah, uh, come on. You ain't being honest, are you? Here, I'll give you the spot next to me. Let's grab some lunch, yeah? Can't seem to escape anymore. It turns out the rooftop was like a VIP seat for Julia, and I found myself having lunch with her for the first time. But man, her loose socks, long fake nails, and a bag full of plushies. Ah, I bet you thought my style was totally from the 90s, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I thought so. Sorry about that. Nah, it's more like a compliment. You know, I'm aiming to be the sweet 90s girl, no doubt. Ain't nothing beating the Heisei vibe. And even my mom's a gal, so I've been rocking this look since kindergarten. Well, it's all about the prodigy education. You mean a prodigy education, right? You misspelled, you know? Oh, look at you. That was a good one. Her way of joking has that 90s vibe, too. By the way, Takudo, why do you look like you're always feeling low? Well, to put it bluntly, I got betrayed by my first best friend and girlfriend. No way, that's a bummer. Y yeah, it's very bad. Then how about this? You'll go out with me, right? Uh, w why would it turn out that way? Well, why not? I'm graduating soon, so I want to have some last fun in high school. It's decided. I thought it was just a joke. And she would use me like Uzami did, keeping my existence hidden and exploiting me somehow. That's what I thought, but Julia was like a whole different league. More like ten different leagues. Um, Julia. Hmm? What's the deal with this? What do you mean? This is what we call Bloom of Youth, right? But no worries, it's totally lit. The senior student council president, Man Tenshin, made it cool to have free love. She's amazing. This is far from hiding. Oh, here, this is yours. Matching keychain. Ah, uh, this is a keychain I only see as a souvenir from a school trip. And from then on, Julia started sticking to me like glue. She's always unpredictable, but she's also a kind person. After all, she's willing to hang out with someone like me, pitying and encouraging me. That's why I can't take it seriously. I can't afford to get hurt like before. But isn't it okay to exchange her number at least? Nah, am I getting too ahead of myself? Ah, screw it. I don't know anymore. Huh, I should muster up the courage and ask her number. Hey, another sigh. I'll take that again. Uh, she's so cute. Mm. Ah. Your sigh has a salty taste, hmm. No way, it doesn't have a taste. By the way, what's up? You want to know my number, right? Ah, uh, you heard it. Well, I mean, of course you can. Um, with a QR code or... Nah, it's gotta be infrared. Are you really not from the 90s? Maybe I went a bit overboard. Well... At this point, I actually think it's pretty cool, you know? It shows that you're really into something. 
Uh, sorry if I sounded all high and mighty. I mean, I don't have anything I'm that crazy about. Thanks! But, like, come on, can you give me your number? Even if it's just an old-school flip phone, you gotta have a phone number, right? Y yeah Oh, but my signal's so weak it's barely connecting. Still stuck in the 2G era, you know? But we're at the age of 5G now! Well, if you shout loud enough, it'll reach, right? Oh, there's an unfinished business for us, Takajo. A typical bloom of youth kind of thing, get it? What? Let's meet at the front of the station at 12 the next weekend, got it? Meet at the front of the station at noon. Copy that. Bloom of youth kind of thing, huh? It probably means taking photo stickers. But wait, this is kind of like a date, isn't it? Phew, uh, calm down, me. Uh, don't you dare fall in love. Hey, Takedo, what you doing? You gotta get close if you want to fit, right? Whoa! Damn, how can I not fall for someone this cute? Come on, strike a pose for the camera. Hmm, that's it. Now for the line. Ah, we came here on a bike. Ah, the good old days. All right. Time for some graffiti fun. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's too adorable, and this is so much fun. Wait, huh? Hey, Chato, why are you checking out other girls? Uh, huh? I ain't looking. I ain't jealous or nothing. Oh, it's Uzami and Chato. Oh, are we dealing with some envy here? Seems like it. Hmm. Well, let's get even closer then. Whoa. You're still looking. Seriously, can't believe this. Sh shut up. <gasps> Takedo, it's done. <laughs> Wanted to give it a try. Not just falling for her. I'm already head over heels in love. All right. For the unfinished business, write in the About Me section. Ain't no guys allowed. With Julia's carefree spirit and innocent smile, I never intended to get serious, but before I knew it, my heart had been completely captivated by Julia. I decided to confess my feelings at the graduation ceremony. And before I knew it, the day of the graduation ceremony had arrived in the blink of an eye. I dragged Julia up to the rooftop to spill my feelings, but I was so nervous that I couldn't even say a word. Come on, man. Talk to Talk to Thanks for everything. Uh-huh. Actually, I never had any friends in my whole life. From elementary to high school. Tried my best to strike up convos, but people just brushed me off like I was nothing. Every day I'd let out a sigh and head to school. So when I first saw you for the first time, I couldn't help but think, that's who I used to be. And that's why I talked to you. I didn't know that. And you, Takudo, had the same kind of vibe as me. But it's not just that. You were the first person to call me cool, Takudo. It made me super happy, I tell ya! Whoa, uh, Julia, I... But I'm sorry. I've been messing with you and causing you trouble. N nah don't say that. <laughs> Takudo, you're a real sweetheart. Well then, from now on, don't you worry about me. Just enjoy your teenage life, Takedo. Um, I couldn't even stop her as she walked away. I felt so pathetic and frustrated for not having the guts at the crucial moment. And from that day on, I lived a life devoid of motivation and drowned in deep regrets. It's been one month, uh, six months, and a whole year since Julia graduated. I tried calling her a few times, but it never went through. No matter how hard I tried to forget, I was always searching for Julia's presence, somewhere, anywhere, across the platform, through the back alleys. There's no way she'd be here. It's been a whole year since then. Uh, I guess I gotta give up. And I'll have that. Uh, that voice, could it be? Wow, your thighs are salty as hell. J Julia, what on earth are you wearing? It's work, duh. I'm an office lady at the nearby company. So how about it? Ain't it suits me just fine? Yeah, it suits you, but wow, you've changed so much. Oh, hold on, gotta take this call. Hello? She's using a smartphone? Well, I guess that makes sense. Julia's become a full-fledged working adult now, and things are different from back then. 
Okay, yes, understood. Whew. I'm the only person who hasn't changed. Huh? Oh yeah, this thing. I mean, like, this smartphone that you guys call it's amazing. Takuto, did you know about this? Whoa, uh, you're super close as usual. This thing's always on fire. But whew, my boss got mad when I blinged it up because it's low key. Ugh. Thank God, she's still the same on the inside. Anyway, what a coincidence bumping into you. All right, Takuto. Let's meet up at the park from tomorrow onwards. Yeah, can't wait. From that day on, we met up at this park every day, just like in the old times, and had pointless conversations that bloomed like flowers. I never thought we'd get a chance to reunite, so I was genuinely stoked. By the way, the reason I couldn't reach her on the phone was because she changed her number when she got a new smartphone. And of course, she's still as flashy as ever, sometimes even picking me up in her dad's borrowed car to go to high school. Damn, even with black hair, she's insanely beautiful. Alright! We've reached the perfect viewpoint! Hey Takedo, feel free to recline your seat, okay? Yeah, yeah Wait, how do you... Um, it's over there, right? There's a lever, look! H hey um, Julia! S see It worked, right? Whoa! Uh, listen, it might not be the right time, but would you come to my graduation ceremony? Hell yeah, of course I'll go! So make sure to save me your second button, alright? Wait, no need to say. It's already reserved, right? W what are you? Once again, my final days of high school were filled with memories of Julia. I had made up my mind to confess properly at the upcoming graduation ceremony. But as graduation drew closer, Julia became busier with work, and she always seemed tired. <sighs> I wonder if I'm just not cut out for this job. It's rare to see Julia sighing like that. I need to cheer her up. Th that's not like you at all. The Julia I like is much more carefree and unconventional. I know. And it's not like you to suppress your true self. You should be more... I said I know! <gasps> But even so, I have to be normal. Julia, what the hell am I doing? Once again, I couldn't stop her, and the days of not being able to see her started all over again. But if I just keep waiting like this, everything will stay the same as before. I thought that I could express my feelings through a message, so I sent a short message to Julia. Thanks to you, my high school life, no, my whole life has become so much more enjoyable. I really want to convey my feelings seriously, face to face. So, would you come to the graduation ceremony? Alright, all I can do now is just wait for her to reply. However, graduation day arrived without a response. Obviously, Julia wasn't there, and I couldn't reach her on the phone. It's all my fault. If only I'd confessed my feelings properly back then. Ugh, no! Just sighing won't change anything. I need to take action. If there's no reply, then I'll go and meet her myself. But where could Julia be right now? Just scream and it'll reach me, you know? Ah, uh, that's it. <gasps> Julia! Like she's gonna hear me. What's up? Uh -huh. Sorry, sorry. I took longer because I decided to comb my hair after a long time, you know? Uh -huh. By the way... High school nostalgia is like, wow! Uh, uh, What's wrong, Takudo? I called you. Oh, sorry about that. I saw the message from you and immediately switched back to my flip phone, but the service ended. Plus, I've been dealing with all the hassle of quitting my job and stuff, you know? Uh, I was thinking of replying to you, but you said you wanted to tell me directly and... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. Takudo, you prefer this kind of me, right? Yeah, I've always... I wanted to see that Julia! Huh? Of course, I liked the hardworking and serious Julia too, but I still like the Julia who lives life the way she wants! Takuto! So, you don't have to wear suits or have a smartphone with signal anymore. Even a flip phone with no service is fine! So, stay by my side forever! Of course, darling! Takuto didn't know that you could say such cool things! Whoa! Julia! Julia! But what about work? I quit. 
So let's open a specialized loose sock store. You'll be the store manager. Sounds nice, huh? What? A niche store like that will become popular a few years later. Thanks, everyone. Come back to see us, girls. Wait, it's actually becoming popular. After that, Julia utilized her gal knowledge and successfully opened a specialized store for those goods. I also discovered unexpected talents in business management, and little by little, the streets began to see the rise of 90s gal. Uh, by the way, even after work, we're always together. Hey, Julia, come on. You gotta sleep in the bed. No! Carry me, darling. Ah, man, you're cute. Oh, got it! Mm -hmm. The Sasaki size are the best. Um, you do realize that you're also a Sasaki, right? Oh, <laughs> right. I swore to never let go of the happiness with my beloved wife, Julia. Hey, you wanted something, boss? My name's Kota Sasaki. I'm a 36-year-old company man working at Koiwa Corporation. And that guy over there, he's our boss, Yamato Ono, who's 40 years old. We've known each other since we were kids, and he's always been a reliable big brother figure. Sorry for pulling you in at a busy time. But first, take a look at this. She's a beautiful kid. Wait, could it be? Yeah, that's my daughter, Julia. She's gotten even cuter, right? Did you call me just to brag about her? Of course not. There's a favor I need. Can you watch over her for a while? Huh? Why me? I'm heading overseas on a business trip next week. Even though she's in high school, I'm worried about leaving her alone here. As for the boss's daughter, Julia, we have some history. Back in the day, I even changed her diapers. She's grown quite pretty, though. Half Nordic heritage sure does wonders. While he was in college, the boss got married to a woman he met while studying abroad, but she left him shortly after giving birth. At that time, there was no daycare at the office, so the boss often brought Julia to work with him. Daddy, where are you? Don't cry, he'll be right back. <laughs> Even after a few years when they set up a daycare... Read me a story? Um, I'm in the middle of work. Read it. All right, all right. <laughs> Your lap is comfy, Coda. For some reason, she'd frequently escape and come to me. So, can you take care of her? I can only ask you to do this. I'm a guy, you know? What, you think you'll make a move on Julia? No way! Then it's not a problem. Ugh. Well, on a serious note, She's been going through a rebellious phase lately. A rebellious phase? Seems a bit late for that. That's why I'm counting on you. She's always had a soft spot for you. That's a thing of the past. Like, up until middle school. I haven't seen her in ages, you know? Quit your complaining, man. It's just for a week, alright? Fine, I got it. Just for that long. Ha! <laughs> Great! Now that's my buddy. Man, you're pushing your luck. And so, I ended up taking care of my boss's daughter. Next week. Phew, all set for her arrival. She said she'd come after school, so it should be soon, but still. Even though it's Julia, I'm a bit nervous. Oh, looks like she's already here. I'll be in your care from now on. Sure, no problem. It's only for a week, right? You've got quite a bit of luggage. Huh? It's for a month? Wait, I thought it was just a week. I mean, a month? Afterward, I confirmed right away. Sorry, sorry. My business trip got extended all of a sudden. <laughs> it's not funny. I never heard anything about a month-long trip. I left not only my daughter, but also the company in your hands. Come on, don't mess with me. You can handle it. After all, you're my right-hand man. I'm counting on you then. Hey, wait a minute. All right. Ahem. Anyway, I'll be looking after you for a month from now. Uh, don't get too close, old man. What? Old man? Is this what they call the rebellious phase? Where did the angelic Julia go? From then on, our shared life was nothing but a series of hardships. 
Even if I make dinner, got dinner ready. Um, Julia. Man, the silent treatment is harsh. Even during meals. Don't put carrots in. Huh? Remove all the fish bones. What? My arms are tired, so feed me. What? Is this kid incredibly spoiled or what? This place is a mess. You think so? I always clean it properly. Look at this. See? So much dust still here. Don't be so fussy. Is she like a mother-in-law or something? Could she be a germaphobe? After about a week, I was feeling totally wiped out. Phew, this is tough. I never thought it'd be so nerve-wracking. Hey, Coda, you look exhausted. Yeah, kinda. Actually, things have been... This girl here is my junior, Ron Tension. I've been looking out for her since she joined the company. You know what it is? She's probably lonely without her dad around, right? Hmm, maybe. Uh, but she's already in high school, you know? Age doesn't matter. She's a girl, and they want to be pampered for as long as they can. So that's why she's so spoiled and rebellious? But if I think about it, no matter how much her dad adores her, it's just the two of them at home. Julia must have felt lonely all this time. Right, that makes sense. She probably couldn't get the attention she wanted when she needed it. That's why she's going through a rebellious phase now. In that case, I'll make sure to give her all the attention she needs, including what her dad couldn't. If that's the case, Coda, I've got something nice for you. What's this? Tickets to Tokisuku Fantasyland. Is that the new amusement park that opened recently? Use these to get closer to her. Sounds good. I should invite her on our next day off. After getting home. I got these from my colleague. Huh? Have you heard of Tokisuku Fantasyland? If you're interested, maybe we can go together sometime. Oh, but you're in high school, so maybe this kind of, you know, not your thing anymore. I want to go. Huh? I want to go, absolutely. She's really excited. What's going on? And on the promised day. Hurry up, come on! Hey, don't pull me like that! If you don't hurry, the morning show will start! If you're too slow, I'll leave you! That's mean! Doesn't that make bringing me along pointless? Where we headed was... Love Calm Ranger, Heartbeat Heroes... Oh, it's a superhero show. Oh, wow! It's a red! The real red! And real pink! My first time seeing them! Oh my gosh, it's amazing! Man, you look like a different person. I wonder if she's into this kind of superhero stuff. <laughs> if you want to laugh, go ahead. You probably think it's weird, right? That a grown-up like me likes this stuff. My classmates always laugh at me. Nah, it's not like that. Huh? I gotta admit, it's a bit surprising. But hey, you should enjoy what you love, no matter how old you get. There's no need to hold back your feelings. Hello? My bad. I got a bit carried away there. Uh... Huh? I didn't say I didn't like it. But... Could you give me more pets? Oh man, she's so cute. I see. I didn't really need to hold back, so I... Uh, did you say something? It's nothing. Huh? But the next day, something strange happened with Julia's behavior. I'm back! Welcome home, darling. Whoa, what's with that? I borrowed it from a friend in the drama club. Uh, okay, but why a maid outfit? Guys like this kind of stuff, right? All frilly and cute. Uh, I won't deny that. Great. Now I'm doing a load. Can you hand me the laundry? Why does it look like we're a couple? Uh, plus, right now? Hmm, I only have a handkerchief. Then that'll do. Hey, why did you put it in your pocket? What are you talking about? No, I mean, my handkerchief. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't fool me with that. If you're not gonna wash it, give it back. No can do. Come on, Julia. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Cuz... Didn't you say that you don't have to hold back your feelings? Huh? 
Wait, is this about the other day? From now on, I'll express my feelings more. So be prepared. What? What's going on? What does she mean? And as more time passed, around three weeks later... Koda? Wanna sleep together? Whoa, no, you can't. You have your own bed, right? Nope. I can't sleep unless I'm with you. Hey, don't. <sighs> your bed is so warm, Koda. And it smells really nice. <sighs> Whoa, you can't be sniffing like that. I can't help it. I love this smell. <sighs> Jeez, too cute. Don't get any weird ideas, Kota. She's the boss's daughter. Then, one day, we went shopping together to buy some daily supplies. <laughs> this is like a date with you. Nah, it's not like that. It's just regular shopping. Oh, hey there, Kota. What a coincidence. Wait, this voice is... Oh, it's you, Ron. <laughs> Why do you seem disappointed? Kinda mean, you know. Right, right, sorry. Ugh. So you're hanging out with the boss's daughter, huh? Looks like things are going well. Lucky you. <laughs> well, thanks to you, Ron. Ugh. Coda, who's this? Huh? Oh, she's my junior from work. I'm Ron Tenshin. Nice to meet ya. I'm Julia. Coda, can we go now? Huh? We don't have to rush, you know? No, I don't want things to get sold out. Well, I guess I'm in the way here. See you at work. Yeah, see you later. I wish it was just me. What's up with Julia? She seems different, doesn't she? A few hours later. Coda, thanks for today. I bet you're tired, so how about I give you a little massage? Whoa, seriously? Well then, I'll take you up on that. Well, I guess she's the same as usual. Maybe that weird vibe earlier was just in my head. Mmm, right there. <laughs> Coda, you're pretty tight. You think so? Oops, something's totally bumping into my back. Um, yeah, I'm good now. Feeling a lot more relaxed. <sighs> hey, Julia! It stinks. Huh? Uh, do I smell that bad? Uh, my bad if I do. No, not you. I'm catching a whiff of some unfamiliar girl scent. Huh? Girl scent? It's all your fault, Coda. You're making me feel like this. Um, what are you talking about since earlier? Mm. Whoa! <sighs> Coda, you're mine, you know. What? Marry me. If you don't, I'm gonna tell on dad. Tell your dad what? That you've driven me absolutely bonkers. Her eyes are bloodshot, and I don't quite get it. But things are getting way too wild. I need to get her to back off for now. Ten minutes later, after a fierce showdown. Phew, have you cooled off a bit? Koda, you're such a meanie. You didn't need to resist like that. I had to, didn't I? You were clearly losing it. Ugh. You're right. But my emotions were just overflowing. Overflowing, huh? She's really cute, though. So, what was that all about earlier? <sighs> Guess I gotta tell you after all, huh? If you really didn't want to, it's cool. No, actually, I want you to listen, Koda. So, the thing is... I'm crushing on you. Huh? You're into me, Julia. But I'm way older, you know? I know, but I can't help it. I've liked you since I was a kid. Every time we met, my feelings just kept growing. Come to think of it, we used to run into each other at company events back when she was in middle school, didn't we? I thought being a kid and all, you wouldn't take me seriously. So I tried to give up multiple times, even tried to make myself hate you. Is that why you were all cold and distant at first? Yeah, exactly. I thought giving up might be a good opportunity. 
So when I heard from Dad about the idea of living with you, I gave the green light. Oh, so that's what it was. Sorry for being a jerk. Seriously. No worries, I ain't mad. In fact, I'd heard from your dad that it might just be teenage rebellion, so it kind of makes sense. Ugh, I'm seriously in a rebellious phase. Even though I'm in high school, my dad keeps sticking his nose into my future plans. Oh, yeah, I can kind of imagine. I know, right? He's always like, what about this college? How about that university? It's so annoying. <laughs> he just really cares about you, you know? Ugh, it's not just about my dad. Right now... I seriously like you, Coda. Remember what you said at the amusement park? About not holding back. That just sent me spinning. So please marry me? Julia, I mean, I... Of course, she's cute and all. But just because of that, can I see her as a romantic interest? She's the boss's daughter. And she's still in high school. I'm sorry, but I can't give you an answer right away. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Getting married out of the blue is pretty heavy, huh? I'm sorry, too. No big deal. After that, our shared life was just plain awkward. And then... Thanks for having me all this time. Oh, it's nothing. It was fun. Mm. Uh. Well, then I'll... Yeah, take care. See ya. I wonder how I truly feel about Julia. After that, we went back to our regular lives, not seeing Julia. And a month passed. Phew. Another exhausting day at work. What? Uh, Julia! What's wrong? Coda. Dad? Dad wants me to... Like... Go to a foreign university after I graduate. He says it's better for my future. What? Abroad? No way. I don't want to be away from you, Coda. I want to stay by your side. Julia. She cares about me this much, and here I am running away from my own feelings. It's time to make up my mind. The next day, I was staying at the boss's place. Hey, what's up with this sudden visit? I gotta talk about Julia's future plans. Julia's, you say? Please, don't let Julia go abroad. Why you gotta butt in, though? Uh, well... I'm really into Julia, you know? I wanna seriously date her. Of course, I'm aware of the age gap, but I'm serious. I'll take care of your daughter and make her happy, I swear. <gasps> oh, Coda. That's so sweet. Ugh. Seems like it's a no-go, huh? But... I'll dedicate my entire life to her! Please, let me have Julia! Wait, did you just say entire life? Huh? Yeah, I did. Then I guess you'll be dedicating the rest of your life to the company. Wait, what? I'll appoint you as our next CEO! What? Phew, thank God. Well, I've been thinking about eventually passing the company to you. I highly value your abilities. Uh, thank you? But man, I never expected you guys to take it this far. Dad? What do you mean? Well, I kind of thought you might get together at some point, so I wanted to see how you'd handle it. It went way beyond what I expected. Wait, so you'd planned it all along? Recommending the overseas university, too? Well, you know, a little adversity makes love exciting, right? You mean you tricked us? I can't believe it! So, when are you planning the wedding? Can you give us a bit more time? What I said earlier was just in the heat of the moment. Aww, I can't wait anymore! Darn it, no way out, huh? After that... Following high school graduation, Julia started attending a local university and also worked part-time at our company in between studies. Her education is, of course, my responsibility. We decided to get married after her college graduation, and now we're officially engaged. Hey, babe. Come on, I keep telling you, don't call me that during work. Teach me a lot, okay? About work and other stuff too, maybe? Hey! Woo! 
It's like a teen drama around here. Just keep it professional, all right? It was a spur-of-the-moment marriage, but I don't regret it one bit. I'll spend my whole life making her happy, because you can't deny love. I'm Rui Sasaki, 18 years old, a guy who values peace and normalcy above all else, often described as an introverted loner. Forget about friendship, romance is out of the question. Or so I thought, until there was someone in my current class who caught my eye. <sighs> my classmate, Naomi Goto, always reading books alone, always quiet. A strange sense of familiarity and... Hmm? Uh oh Did she notice I've been staring all this time? But if you look closely, she has a beautiful face. Other guys say she's too plain, but maybe that's a good thing. Well, saying that won't change the fact that romance is impossible for me. It was on a certain day when I harbored such secret feelings. In the second period of physical education, feeling unwell, I got permission for self-study. Come to think of it, Naomi wasn't here this morning. Guess I'll spend the day alone. Huh? Is there someone inside? But everyone is in P.E. Huh? Yeah! No, no, naomi Sorry for barging in suddenly! Well, well, I should be the one. I just got here and was changing. I see, I see. I'll step outside. Panicked, but for a moment, there was something on her back. Wait. You saw it, didn't you? Uh, th this is... but why? Uh, um, there's a reason for this, you know. There must be, but is it okay to ask? Hey, Sasaki! Huh. Are you studying? Oh, Naomi, have you seen Nui? Uh, um, maybe in the restroom? I see. It seems like you came in late. Feeling unwell? I yes, that's right. So if I could also self-study. Wait, wait, wait. Got it. Then you two. What's going on in this situation? In front of me is Naomi's back, but there's a splendid female demon mask. Huh? All right. Make sure to study well. But this is... Dewey, the teacher left. Sorry for springing this on you. I don't want everyone to find out, so... Uh, yeah, that makes sense, huh? Huh? I is something wrong? Aren't you very surprised? Well, I'm definitely surprised, but that's a sticker, right? Uh, yes, yes. My sister did it. Seems like she stuck it on while I was asleep. Impressive that you didn't wake up. So, uh, we argued this morning and I got delayed. Huh? How did you know it's a sticker? Uh, well, I saw it up close. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, she's pretty cute up close, but now is not the time for that. Anyway, your little sister is quite mischievous, huh? Yeah, influenced by my dad, after all my father, is the leader of the Blue Dragon Group. Huh? So you know my sister is influenced by that. Oh, oh it said something I shouldn't have. I didn't want to tell anyone. Hey, forget what I just said. Sorry, that might be difficult. The Blue Dragon Group is one of the long-standing groups in this area. According to Naomi, her father, the leader, wants her daughter to live a normal life. However, her younger sister is enthusiastic about the gang's activities. Completely not normal, but the reason for that strange sense of familiarity was... I just want to live a normal life, but it's not that simple. It's troublesome even if you suddenly hear something like this, right? No, yeah, I get it. Uh, normally, people would be more... scared? Ah, uh, well, me too. I have a younger brother who's a total punk, so things are quite challenging. Really? <laughs> it seems we're similar after all. Huh? 
Uh, n nothing So for now, let's keep this a secret from everyone Of course Thank you But if the sticker comes off, my sister will probably put it back on So maybe let it naturally fall off But if someone finds out No one would think you have the tattoo on your back though Oh, right even though I discovered such an unbelievable secret, nothing changed. Without the courage to start a conversation, I continued to gaze without any change. <laughs> she smiled? Having a secret just between us might be nice. Nonchalantly thinking this way, two days later after school. As soon as I stepped outside the school building, a sudden torrential rainstorm struck. It would have been fine if I just got wet. But ahead of my gaze was Naomi. Oh no! At this rate! Do we? Uh, well, I thought if you got wet, it might become see-through. It's presumptuous, but I understand. And from now on, if anything happens, I'll protect you. Huh? Thanks. But why would you go that far? <laughs> what are those two doing? Uh W well then, see you tomorrow! Uh, this? I did something impulsive in the heat of the moment! After that, I returned home in the heavy rain, but Naomi's presence wouldn't leave my mind. And by the way, due to certain circumstances, I have lived alone since I started high school. Showering with a sense of frustration, I jumped into bed and fell asleep without much thought. Several hours later, I woke up to the sound of the intercom. Yes, I'll open the door. Eh? Is this the friend of you, my lady? Quite a good demeanor you have. S sorry for coming so suddenly. I found your address in the student handbook that was in your blazer. Did you come all the way to return it? Well, that too. But my father... Oh, that's you. You're the one who protected my daughter. I appreciate it. This is my father. I mentioned you about him. The leader? He must be. He's really imposing. So, I have a favor to ask. It seems you're living alone, but... Can you live with Naomi for a while? What? Why? Lately, the conflict with the Red Tiger Group, our long-standing rivals, has been intensifying. I plan to settle it during my tenure, but I don't want my daughters involved. Well, then, maybe as a temporary... No, live together and eventually marry her. Isn't that jumping the gun? You said that you'll protect Naomi, right? I did say that, but with someone like me... Because it's you. Huh? Why? Because you're normal. I want my daughter to grasp a normal happiness. I'm leaving it to you, ordinary boy. Wait! Besides, what if Naomi doesn't want this? No. I also like you, Dewey. Because you're normal. What? If she approaches with such a cute face... But... It's a sudden proposal, and if you want to refuse... N no no if it's okay with someone like me... Really? Then... You'll take responsibility, okay? This turned into something unbelievable! And so, I welcomed her, treating her to ordinary changes of clothes and ordinary home-cooked meals. However, whether it was good or bad, Naomi was excessively delighted with the normalcy. Wow! The bath is normal, too. The shampoo is also a good normal one. Am I being praised? Okay, I'll use the shower first. But Naomi is surprisingly proactive, isn't she? Or maybe she's just naturally like this. Well, in any case, she's cute. She says I'm normal, but I'm not really. Do we? Huh? Thanks for the shower. So, there's something I want to ask. W well get dressed first. No, I can't do it if I'm wearing clothes. Huh? It's about time to take this off. Oh, it's about removing the sticker. 
I'm really glad it was you who found out first. I is that so? Yeah, because you know, I've been feeling a strange sense of closeness to you for a while now. I've always been scared of making friends through family matters and was always alone. But then there's you, enjoying being alone in class, just like me. If you say that, I've been thinking the same thing. Really? Hey, since we're living together, let's get to know each other more. Of course. Uh, but you know, somehow we seem similar, or, um... Hmm? Oh, wait. Naomi. <sighs> She's sleeping. Should I carry her to bed? Certainly, we might be destined for something. But that might be a destiny that doesn't bring us together. And so, the peaceful daily life took a sudden turn. From a tranquil routine to living with a classmate, a departure from the ordinary. However, the changes weren't confined to just the home. They extended to school life as well. Mmm, it's incredibly delicious! Really? I'm glad. <laughs> Eating lunch with someone was a dream of mine. I thought she was a quiet girl, but she's actually bright and kind. Oh, right! I've also been longing for this. Here. Uh... W wait Huh? Isn't this normal? What's your standard? Like, in girls manga? That's the farthest thing from normal! Is it? So you see, our house has always been lively. Together at school and at home, it really feels like we're married. Hey, hey! What's your home like, Dewey? Huh? Uh, well, my home is just... Hmm? Maybe a delivery? Coming! Who me- You! You're the one who dragged my sister into this normal life! Huh? Harumi, why are you here? Ah! Sis! Come back home with me! Wait! Haru, calm down! Ugh! You're wearing such normal clothes! So this is her sister. Indeed, a complete opposite. More like a punk. Anyway, come on in. The house is normal, furniture is normal, even the pattern on the curtains is normal! What's good about a normal guy like him? That's what's good! A normal home and normal cooking are good! We're the daughter of the gang leader! We can't choose a boyfriend without strength! Being able to cook normal food is more impressive than fighting! Am I being praised or criticized here? Harumi, the little sister, was as just described by Naomi. For the time being, she was sent home that day, but she would likely return to take her sister back. Sorry for involving you in this troublesome situation. I'm fine, but it must be tough for you. I do think about the family as the eldest daughter, you know? Dad says I can do as I like, but deep down, he might want me to inherit and marry to continue the family. No, Naomi, you can live freely, normally. Regardless of being the child of a gang leader, we're all just individuals, right? <gasps> Dewey... I really want to be with you more. I feel the same way, but there's something I have to tell you. So, on the next day off, can you come to my parents' house with me? That's... Yeah, I'm also preparing myself for it. All right, let's go! <laughs> Looking forward to going to your home. By the way, did you tell your dad about today? Yep, and he said good for you. I want to celebrate it peacefully, so I'll settle the disputes between the groups. Wait, seriously? What's up, Rui? Dad, it's been a while. I'm living with this girl now. Nice to meet you. I'm Naomi Goto. Goto? Nui and I are classmates, and... Hey, Rui. Don't tell me this girl. Yeah, actually... What? Sis? Why are you here? Don't tell me you're helping in the fight against the Red Tiger group! What are you talking about, Haru? It's not like that. <laughs> this might be fate. I thought it might be, but... Naomi, that guy is our enemy. The son of the Red Tiger group. No way! Sorry. I was planning to tell you properly today. Yes, 
My father is the leader of the Red Tiger Group, in a long-standing conflict with the Blue Dragon Group. However, fed up with such an unusual family environment, I left home since high school started. Being the eldest son, it might have been stopped, but I was permitted to leave thanks to my younger brother. Bro, don't tell me you're lending your strength into the conflict with the Blue Dragon Group. No way, Light. Always carrying dangerous things. Wait, Light. Today was supposed to be a discussion, but things have changed. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I can't let my daughter be involved with the enemy group. Wait, hold on a second. We met as ordinary classmates. I just fell for Naomi naturally. Uh -huh. Stop involving us in the petty conflicts between factions. Ui. Are you kidding, bro? Falling for the enemy's daughter? That's right. Sis, quit being attracted to such a weak guy. What did you say? Don't badmouth my brother. What? I just said what's obvious. They really are alike. I need to calm them down first. Cut it out! Even I normally am just an ordinary girl who falls for an ordinary person. Naomi. Haru, when you fall for someone, you'll understand too. Light, you are the same. Strength is meant to protect the one you love. But... Dewey, let's go already. After that, we continued to pretend to be strong, not contacting our parents and continuing to live together. It seems that since that incident, the conflicts between factions have intensified. Surely, Light and Harumi are clashing more fiercely than their parents. In such a volatile situation, after about a month, we received information that the Blue Dragon group was once again coming to my parents' home. I'll go tomorrow. No, it's dangerous. If I'm with you, I'll seriously run away with you. I feel the same way. Then why? Because I genuinely love you. I want to settle this. Dewey. I understand. I'll go with you. It might turn into a fierce conflict, but as promised, I'll protect you well. Yeah. Next day. There are a lot of cars. They're all my dad's. I've made up my mind. Now, I just have to go for the final persuasion. Dad, it's me. Can you listen for a moment? Rui, sorry, but leave it for later. Going to settle this. I'm not saying you should quit the faction for my sake. I just want you, Light, and everyone in the group to know the goodness of ordinary happiness. Rui. I feel the same. We can find happiness without fighting. Naomi. So, if you continue the fight, we'll run away. I'm prepared for that, too. I understand the determination of both of you. But I won't allow running away. Then let's disband the faction. No, we won't disband. We'll... merge. Huh? Inspired by the two who were drawn to each other. Today is a discussion about that. But if Light and the others don't agree... No, on the contrary, those two are the key. Hey, bro! Sis! Well, we were just about to come get you with Haru. Huh? Yep, babe. Huh? What on earth is happening? What, you ask? We're dating, thanks to you guys. What? It seems that our words from that time lingered in their hearts. At first, they met for a fight, but gradually they were drawn to each other. I understood what Sis said. I fell in love with Light for real. Bro, I'll protect Haru with all my might. That's why I proposed the merger to our fathers. Actually, we... Turns out we have quite a hobby. Lately, we've been golfing together every week. That too? And that's thanks to you, Rui. Thanks for teaching us about ordinary happiness. Dad... But... The first one to be happy is you, Naomi. I'm counting on you again, my daughter, our ordinary... No, our daughter and her dear friend. Yes, of course! Yay! 
You're amazing, Udui. Uh, yeah. It's an unexpected turn of events, but I'm glad. After that, while continuing to live together, we enrolled in the same university and, after graduation, found jobs in regular companies. On the other hand, both groups now work for an NPO promoting city volunteering. Of course, leading the way are Light and Harumi. Such busy yet peaceful days passed by. Years later. Congratulations! You two look perfect together! Next is our turn, right? Naomi, you've grown so much. Don't cry, family. Come on, let's drink. <laughs> Everyone really became good friends. But you know, we are the closest and love each other the most, right? Yeah, of course. What is considered normal varies from person to person. That's why from now on, I will continue to pursue the best kind of normalcy with my beloved family. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too.